Hello, our friends. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. And we want to thank our newest patron. Uh, yes, we want to say a huge thank you to Ian. We appreciate your support. Absolutely. And everybody that's watching us over on Patreon as well as YouTube. And again, we have three channels on YouTube. EER, it's Evolutionary Energy Arts and also Heart's Home. And we are also on Rumble, Brightian, and BitChute. So <clears throat> I, I was saying this to Cindy before, you know, one of the things that you want to do in, in a wartime scenario is control the flow of uh, reinforcements, goods and services, energy, uh, just all basic needs. And, and when you see a text, and not saying that this is necessarily an attack, it could be an accident that we're going to talk about, but just a plain accident. <laughs> There's a lot of those out there. But at the same time, uh, this is big. And I-95 in Connecticut ranks as the most congested corridor in the U.S., beating out L.A. And, and I know because I used to drive this every day for years. And in fact, right now, I-95 in Norwalk, Connecticut is completely shut down. Completely shut down. Two hour plus um, expected waiting time minimum. As you can see, this petroleum tanker explosion with another vehicle on I-95 cut off the entirety on both sides this is big it this is huge and, and again this is one of the busiest corridors uh in the u.s and, and it actually is the number one corridor um uh, and and believe me I spent many many mornings one to two hours trying to get a few miles so i-95 closed in both directions in norwalk connecticut and you can see, you can't really see anything. <laughs> I mean, you know, she's like showing the screen here and there's really nothing to see because it's all just smoke and it looks like the weather they're having there is kind of similar to the weather in Texas. Hmm. We're going to talk about Texas too. So, yes, yeah, so apparently a petroleum tanker. Collided with another car and what a blaze this was. You know, I, I think back and I think in, uh, gosh, what was it? Maybe about a year ago, was it? We were not even a year ago. We were covering one um, in Groton, New London uh, that had the potential to uh, shut down the highway. And, and, and they would definitely shut down. They'll try to take out the big highways like 95 over here, I-5 over in California, they'll take out 20, they'll take out 40, they'll take out uh, 80, and, and all these other big uh, thoroughfares in a time of war would be a target. Absolutely. Oh, this is really not good. I, I, and, you know, it's it's spreading out, too. And it seems like the chaos is building and building and building. E explosions seem to be the theme of these <laughs> this last week. And, and I think the week moving forward, if you look at the astrological uh, implications of things, this is not surprising me, um, but still very concerning never like to see anyone get hurt um, injured you know and then i i don't know about you guys but when i see traffic backed up like this i, I think of the poor souls who might have nausea who might be sick they might have to go to the bathroom i'm like oh my gosh this traffic has got to move i always feel like every inside of every individual car i'm kind of weird like that i'm like these people are so miserable so it can get overwhelming for me and but you know what the energy getting backed up just think about a body if a body gets in an accident and you know you cut yourself you're interrupting this energy flow and then you have to go to the er well our our roads are very similar to that you know you you get a cut somewhere if things get bad enough you know you really cripple the whole area it's it's really concerning absolutely so if that wasn't the only thing uh going on there's a lot of things going on there was a massive fire in new york city in a supermarket it spread to four buildings injured seven displaced 30 residents we, we've seen these type of events just seemingly happening 
all the time. And then we have crazy uh, hail and tornadoes. You know, this is um, what they call gorilla hail. And this is the one I think where Reed was showing it in his hands. There it is. Look at the size of that. I mean, you get bonked on the head with that. That'll definitely, it could knock you out. Absolutely. You know, so we've had these unusual tornadoes uh, going on in the center of the country. And even an anti-cyclonic tornado where it's going in the opposite direction uh, usually happens. And, you know, the Rothschild own weather channel was explaining that it does happen. You know, again, they're going to give you the quite quote unquote science to explain everything that's going on artificially. Oh, but you're a conspiracy theorist. You, you think this is artificial? This is just, uh, you know, it's man-made climate change. You know, y you are causing your flooding is basically what they're telling us. We are causing, causing all the yeah no no people are seeing the signals they're seeing the energy trails people are waking up they're starting to look up over their heads and realize you know that's not a normal cloud maybe that crazy neighbor was right and this is huntsville north of houston the flooding in texas is um very very dramatic to say the least um, and Texas is getting hammered. And, of course, Texas would be uh, a target for the controllers. You know, and I, I just want to remind people not too long ago, these massive fires that really crippled the cattle industry. Well, I mean, look at those hail balls. You can't tell me that it's not hurting the cattle or even killing some of the little calves that have been born. And the flooding is going to really put a damper on, on cattle as well, you know. So they're they're hitting this from all angles. You can tell this is... And then they're just going to say, oh, you know, it's just... um. It's, it's just nature's way. Well, no, <laughs> it's not nature's way. This is not what nature does. This is artificial in, 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 in its form. <clears throat> and it's targeted, too. I mean, I guess that's my point. This is targeted to really kind of hit people where it hurts and make them very uncomfortable. Absolutely. <clears throat> you know, they use their own little languages uh, and create words in those languages to make you feel stupid. So, like when you go to a doctor and, you know, you, you might have a nasty case of folliculitis. Oh, God, that sounds horrible, doctor. No, it's just an ingrown hair. You know, it just, he can make it sound terrible because you maybe don't know what that term means. But again, they'll, they'll use Latin, etc., claim this air of superiority um, in order to talk down to people so that you don't question. But, you know, this is how it is with the law system. The law system is an atrocity. And, you know, in some ways, you know, got to view those that uh, work in that system. Uh, you know, I just got to, you know... <laughs> Why? Why would you want to be in a system like that and 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 work to support the system? This is what's going to happen with a lot of people is is that they'll find themselves uh, in a position where they might even like what they do and like the people they work with, but they're in something that somehow is supporting the system and the system's oppression of humanity. And I think you know, as the energies keep getting more and more intense, there's going to be this separation and coming out of the system where people will be like i just can't do this job anymore because you know i i just i know it's not really helping the planet and and i think a lot of people will get to that point as i've shared with um, being a r retirement community manager which i love my day-to-day -day interactions running these communities and especially being a troubleshooter and trying to make lives better but then when i felt the corporate energy and you might have lost you might have had a bad week and and you lose three or four people that you really cared about in a week and all they want is you know hey every day without that you know particular apartment in uh, rented is is money profits yeah corporations have no souls corporations more and more people are waking up to understand 
that corporations literally are evil entities. They truly, truly are evil entities. They are soulless entities. Think about when you get on the phone and you're waiting to have a question answered and whether it's, you know, internet hour outage, power outage, problem with your phone service, whatever it is, you can't get a human. You can't get a human. You got to go jumping through these. That's my definition of hell right there is 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 AI led systems and corporations. And then you have, you know, these corporations like PF, Pfizer, um, you know, AstraZeneca, Moderna, you have your um, gosh, all the ones, you know, from selling the horrible Monsanto chemicals. All they have to do is just dissolve the corporation. The same group could come right back and do it all over again. And they do. And, and commit the same uh, errors, let's just say, instead of using the C-R-I-M-E-S word, but in reality it is. And they could do it all again. And there's no personal liability. This is exactly how the system works. The system is completely stacked. And as long as we are playing their games, we're never going to get anywhere. The thing is, we have to be that kid. We got to be the kid that, that says, I'm not playing with you. And, you know, kick over that game and tell them to go take a hike. We're going to go play with ourselves somewhere else. We're not playing their games anymore. As we look at some quakes over in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Now, Houston is saturated. I mean, they, they had six to eight inches of rain. Uh, and we're talking like the woodlands and stuff in, in, in these areas. It's drenched. More is coming uh, as well. It's, it looks like we're going to get rain. Uh, we are uh, three out of the next four days or four out of the next five days. But you can't count on the uh, you can't count on the forecasts anymore um, simply because it seems like the geoengineering's off the hook. I've noticed that the Weather Channel's forecast is not matching with a lot of our local uh, forecasts anymore at all. And, of course, the Weather Channel is run by the Rothschilds, as you guys know. Um, so, you know, here's a couple of 3.1 and 3.2. It's curious. Uh, Into Thin Air was also uh, showing a lot of curious radar uh, signals, multiple areas. And it is curious. Like, when you look at this, this is almost like an A for anarchy with the way the uh, quakes are lining up over here. It's curious. There, there's there been just so many weird events, um, unusual events. And let's just take a look over uh, towards the West Coast. And here we go again with these patterns. Now, this there is a plume. There is a plume that feeds Yellowstone. Uh, into thin air was, was talking about uh, some unusual radar signals over by Nellis. Now, we happen to live next to Nellis for a while. Yeah, there, we saw portals uh, opening up on a regular basis. You would see a light that would just appear out of nowhere. And, and we, have, we have big binoculars that weigh like five pounds. These, these things are huge. They're like 14, 16 inches long. And the light would appear out of nowhere, and it would go over Nellis and disappear. And it was like a portal that was opening. And we'd watch 30, 40 sh ships, vehicles, go just apparently pop into existence out of the blue, cross over our heads, go over Nellis, and then just disappear again. It was just so bizarre. It was movements of goods and services. <laughs> off, off planet. <laughs> it was really quite, quite amazing. And, you know, I'll never forget the time we were driving down, down the, uh, the highway in the desert. And we both look over and there's this fighter jet coming, flying alongside of us. And I'm looking at the thing and I'm kind of in shock. And it didn't dawn on me in the, in the 
start of it that there was no noise. It was silent and it was going not very high off the desert floor. It was like literally six to eight feet off the desert yeah. floor. Yes, it was. And then it, it, it sat there for, I don't know, maybe 60 seconds. I don't know, long enough for us to get a really good look at it. And then it jetted forward and then it blended into this mountain. So to me, it turned on its cloaking technology. I mean, they have some crazy stuff. If you if you haven't seen uh, alien stuff yet, go to Nellis. Go to N- Nellis. Go camp in the desert for a couple of days. You're guaranteed a show. Oh, you are. You are. Absolutely. So as you see all the quakes uh, from the Pacific Northwest down through Yellowstone, you know, down below Cal- Calgary, you might notice, you know, there is some swarming going on in the L.A. area. Um, 278 quakes is about 100 less than it was maybe 24 to 36 hours ago. Yet, yeah, at the same time, I saw one here that was reported as 4.3. They have it at 4.1 right now. And you got 13 quakes here. On, this is an explosion off to the east of there. So we have 13 quakes in this particular area. <coughs> You know, let's just say it's a little east of Anaheim, Orange County there. I think we are very close, guys. You know, if I was a betting man, I'd be tempted to lay down some money for uh, some big quakes in the month of May. But, you know, I'm really hopeful that we can change this paradigm. Oh, my. Okay, so we, I, up here, you you also do get these swarms. It's the geysers again. You got 47 in the map right now. And as I was looking over to the pattern here, it just feels weird. Now, three of these, well, this is technically still some, somewhat on the base. They're not giving us a depth. That could be an explosion of some sort or a test. Uh, this one's very small, 15.8 kilometers. That's on, on, on the uh, base. This one is as well. You know, there's also activity up in Alaska. As we come over here, Alaska's been doing some swarming. And over here we have a dozen, 4.7, 5.4, 5.3, 5.1, 5.5, 4.5. Yeah, we're, <clears throat> we're definitely heading into uncharted territory, I think, at this point in time. So, you know, please do have your earthquake, evacuation, flood, uh, everything planned, Red Dawn plan, because, you know, what they are doing now is they're sowing the division. They need the confusion. They need the chaos. They need people arguing and getting emotionally engaged. Uh, so, you know, it's a sleight of hand. Look over here, look over here, and then, you know, they're going to be doing other things. Um, by the way, first train derailment this person's ever seen, westbound I-20, just west of Peyote. One of our family members told us about this, and, and, and they're in that area as well, and they're in the trucking industry. And uh, they made note that they'd never seen a train derailment. In fact, I don't even know if this is <laughs> maybe our friend there. Now, it's not just us uh, that has flooding. It's all over the place. This is Brazil's Rio Grande do Sul, and you have massive flooding. I mean, it's now we're, we're starting to get on the par where people are saying, are they mud flooding us? Are they mud flooding us? Um, yeah, you know, I, I, th- I think that, yeah, absolutely. When you look to the mud flood, there's so much evidence all over the world i have to share again you know this is the one thing the guides told us uh, n- don't go too close to the coastlines and also be very very aware of of the rivers lakes streams uh shoot you know even small ponds that could become big lakes very very quickly I and mean, again six to eight inches of rain if you are talking a real dry desert area, that's really, really dangerous. Even if it's not, it's it's still dangerous. Um, you know, China is has getting smashed, and you know they're they're you know the potential adversary. But what we have to realize is the average person doesn't want to hurt the average person anywhere else. 
in fact, you know, most people just want to get along. I really, truly believe that. I really, truly believe that. Most people have very, very um, typical goals in life. You know, maybe you were like me. I was, you know, a kid that always moved. I moved a whole bunch of times because my parents rented. And, you know, my parents did a good job of, of trying to keep us in, in a safe neighborhood and away from, um, <clears throat> you know, energies that could drag me down as a developing kid. And my parents were wonderful. I have, n there's not one little thing I could say negative about my parents. They were fabulous. I adored them both very gentle very kind um you know they didn't really care about the system they really didn't uh <laughs> and maybe that's a little bit where i i, I also kind of get it from but i know um they were not they were not they didn't share that their awakeness now my dad was awake he just didn't speak about it uh he kept things quiet and and never wanted to mention things i think because he didn't want to uh, endanger me with knowledge and even to this day um, th and he's been dead uh, for 26 years now uh, even to this day when we are able to contact him because Cindy can contact him uh, he still won't and for <laughs> any sort of uh, information that could uh, lead to any sort of danger for me even from the other side and yes, you know, I, I do think um, <clears throat> we need to do a video explaining um, who we are more uh, for people because, you know, we don't just cover the news. We're primarily uh, energy workers, I would say healers. This is what we do. Um, and we're both people that have one foot in this world, one foot in another, so to speak. And here you can see this is a major highway collapse and loss of life involved. Are they mud flooding us? Yeah, I think that's kind of part of the plan. And again, it's not the entire globe that gets washed over. It's not 2012, but local, isolated. Um, this is a hurting. It is. It's 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 um, something where Mother Earth, on her own, she would never, ever, ever do this to her children. I don't, I don't buy for one second that the cosmic energy out there and that that's reported is going to wipe out the entire planet. No, I, I don't see that. I don't buy that. I see everything constructed by a control system that wants you to know only what they need you to know. So it's a need to know basis. And they want to keep people at each other's throats. They want to keep people, you know, feeling like, well, my position in this world is superior to your position in this world because of X, Y, Z. And when it comes to, um, you know, let's just take dog food, for example. For so long, they made kibble and they made people afraid to give their dogs uh, table scraps because the kibble had all the necessary nutrients in it. Well, it turns out kibble is not very great for your dog. So then come along these other people that say, okay, well, you can cook for your dog, but it absolutely has to be X, Y, and Z, and you cannot stray outside of these lines. So now they're making a ton of money keeping people afraid to cook for their dogs and making like they have the only, <clears throat> the only good, safe food in town because what pet owner wants to be... Ne you know neglectful to their pet no so they use this educational system like mike was talking about as the superiority like i'm so much better than you and it's just ridiculous and they keep going on so sure they're going to go the natural way and a better way for pets but there's still somebody holding a ball saying i have the only and the best way to do this and if you go against anything i say you're just a bad person and you're killing your pet well i'll tell you what mike and i have been cooking for our pups for a long time they are the healthiest dogs you could ever imagine there's there's <laughs> there's they have so much energy oh my gosh these dogs do not stop and their coats glisten do i go by all the rules of of the the dog food gods no i do not we go by what we feel they need and we adjust as needed. And, you know, I, I put that out on some public forums and I've had people attack me and like, how dare you put this out there? You know, this is bad for your pet. 
it, it's been proven for like three years. It's not bad for my pet. It's very good for my pet. The problem that they have is I'm taking the power into my hands and taking their power away. So they really hate that. They absolutely hate it when people think for themselves. Yeah, we we had shared, and um, I just want to bring this up again. We had decided we we're going to get Sita spayed because, you know, she emotionally can't have puppies. So Sita was the runt. You know, even though she's like a hundred and ten pound runt, she's 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 not a runt now, but she was a runt. And so, you know, where Rama w was the first pick, and and he was you know like the prize of the litter, um, so to speak. Sita was the one uh, that wasn't taken, and we, and we only went back because I kind of heard the guide saying to get her. Um, and this is when Zeke passed on. Uh, Zeke was my, my buddy and my, my partner uh, and really helped me through a very difficult time in my own life, in a challenging time. And Zeke was the one thing I could count on that was there until I met Cindy, <laughs> which, um, you know, was, it was the biggest blessing uh, of my life at, at I have ever had and ha she has you know given me so many uh answers and and there again whether you want to call that God answering my prayer because absolutely you know source did answer my prayer when uh it brought me the one partner that could make me a better person and give me all the answers that I want because of my uh, planetary alignment. If you saw my chart, you would understand. You know, it, it's just I'm obsessed with with knowing everything inside and out from an experiential standpoint too. I, I I cannot just trust any anything. That's just part of my makeup. It's it's why I jumped in to the body at the time that I did. And this is again why why understanding like your Vedic chart. And to the Western astrologers out there, no, no offense intended. It's just a simple fact that the Western, um, the Western astrology world does not take into account the tilt of the earth, which is a very real 23 and a half degrees. At times it can change to 21 and a half degrees, depending on where we are in the precession of the equinox. Um, it's a fact. So, you know, taking that into consideration makes a big difference in, in, in understanding who we really are. And this is why also I feel that the Western system in general dominates the world because the Western system is the controller system. And this is, again, why I would say if you really want real wisdom, uh, I wouldn't spend my time going deep diving into the Bible. I've done that since I was a little kid. And I found much more wisdom in many of the works of the East or in the Western mystical tradition, in the Hermetic uh, tradition, and in, in, even in uh, Kabbalah, if, you're, if you want to stay Western. But the Tao Te Ching, studying the I Ching, looking into all the Hindu uh, scriptures and books, the Buddhist books, uh, you know, there's so many. Uh, real, real jewels out there, um, and and also one of the best books that I, I've recommended, and we actually got it like completely sold out when mentioned it before was uh, How the Universe Works by Leah Maggie Garfield. It's out of print, you know. It's 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 been out of print twenty years. You might be able to find a copy out there, but she was uh, a Pomona shaman, so this is a Native American tradition. This is it. If you really want to know what's going on, you can't go to the controllers. You got to go to those that have been outside of the control system as much as possible. So again, look into some of the indigenous and shamanic traditions as well. Okay, we digressed. Um, we digressed a lot. And this just shows you. A second Boeing-linked whistleblower dies. Yeah. The 45-year-old Joshua Dean, somebody that they say took really good care of himself and was thought to be kind of a, a health fanatic, he died suddenly. Now, he might have done something. We, we understand that, you know, uh, many of these corporations had, had mandatory situations. But here's my problem again. This is a corporation. 
and if a corporation was a person um, you would have that person be an investigator for you know the big M right now but who do you investigate in the corporation obviously this is the second whistleblower that said they were doing things that were putting people's lives in danger had been good health noted for having a healthy lifestyle you know he's 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 gone so corporations are evil they are evil and and that is in my mind one of the things that has to go because then they can't hide they can't hide in the shadows this is what they do all the time well you know unfortunately not only is this this beautiful soul gone they have it plastered all over the news everywhere so to me that's just what they're doing there is they are advertising to everyone else who might think about being a tattletale this is what's going to happen to you because it's i think at the at least the second time that this has happened so they're they're definitely um waving their flags telling other people don't you dare be a whistleblower because you can see what happens and they just have it all over the news everywhere these are your controllers you know and it's organizations we we need to get rid of organizations uh that people can hide behind and then they have other people they hire to do their dirty work. This is just so, as you look at Steve Kirsch's here, and, and they admit that there's, I, 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 it just boggles my mind when it's like a fight night, my one vice, you know, the UFC. I still follow the UFC since its early days. Yes, um, not the highest vibe, but it is the, the, one, the one thing <laughs> that I still do. Uh, that is just typical. When you when you look at what is is going on and and the admission of how things are so detrimental to your health and yet you still have people choosing to do them, they they're just they is is they can't think, no, they, can't. they can't think. I mean, and this is really what they've they've already told us. In the words, you now we were talking about the Rothschild controlled weather channel, and then you have the Rockefeller controlled medicine system, because it is, which ultimately they're on the same team. People are still choosing to do things that you should have your head examined if you do. And, you know, this is not just about the plague upon the land and the cure for the plague upon the land, which we all know. Yeah, that, that that was the end goal, obviously. And you know, some have said uh, three to five year range, and you're going to see just chaos develop three to five years after after the uh, cure. And here we are. You know, we're kind of in the middle of that time frame now, heading towards the middle of that time frame. And it's it's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's not just in that. And and I'm cautious to not you know. But there's so many people with heart conditions, sludgy blood. You know, the rain is black, if you know what I mean. That black goo is in the rain. Yeah, and it all has to do with, again, uh, everything from, from the fake clouds on down. You know, Zionism. This person says Zionism is fascism. You know, again, the demons have been in control and if, if your own Bible tells you that the whole world's going to be led astray, and yet the largest belief system in the whole world is coming out of the Abrahamic tradition, really just Christianity and Islam, because Judaism is less than two-tenths of one percent of the population of the planet, yet it is the root in some ways, not totally, but in some ways, um, here you go. That's the whole world. So, you know, the people that are worried about being led astray, they're the ones that are being led astray. And yet we have people so deeply divided. And, and this this is the biggest card. There's only one other card. Once, once you take this away, once you take the religions away, once, and people are terrified of that. They think they're coming after, you know, their Bible, their Koran. And they're ready to go to war for that. Well, they have. Uh, you know, again, look look at the Native Americans. They were genocided. The giants were genocided. 
Gaza is getting the same thing right now. It, this just is so obvious and so ongoing. The whole concept of a chosen people is, is a distortion because it was one of that group called the Elohim that said that Abraham and Abraham's people were his chosen people. He's just one out of a group. And you'll find that same reference to that same group in the Greek mythologies and multiple mythologies around around the globe. And you'll find it clear in, in the Sumerian, Akkadian uh, texts. We are talking again about that root word of Elohim, which itself is a, a distortion. And, you know, here you go. 320 to, to 91. House passes a bill to mandate the Education Department to use the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance's definition of anti-Semitism, which enforcing federal anti-discrimination laws. So you had 187 Republicans, 133 Dems voted yes, 21 Republicans and 70 Dems voted no. And so technically... It would make, you know, and this is what you're seeing, all the, the real um, people that lean towards the fundamentalist side up in arms because they're pulling out where it says, and the Jews handed him over to be executed to Pilate and saying, okay, well, that's anti-Semitism because you're saying this one group handed, you know, Yeshua over uh, to be executed, and that's anti-Semitism. So here you go. They're coming for your Bibles. They're coming for your Bibles. The number one most popular book ever written, more in publication than anything else. It, you know, it may get supplanted by the Koran if history wasn't going to reach such a bumpy point that is very close to coming. Um, you know, if things were to go forward in a normal way, Islam would, at some point in time, maybe another 20, 30 years, be the number one, Christianity number two. They're, they're the same control system because the Christianity you have is not the teachings uh, of the real Yeshua. Look to what got banned and burned to find the real teachings of Yeshua. So, you know, the, the Gnostic texts were destroyed. There were many other... Uh, texts that were destroyed. These there were hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different teachings, scrolls, usually scrolls. You know these these were different teachings, and they're pseudepigraphal in nature mostly. So you know most people, if you ask them, you go into any old church, who wrote the Book of John? Well. <laughs> Duh, John. No, it wasn't John. The, the, as, as Billy Carson was saying in one of his videos, these people were all illiterate. They were all illiterate. None of them knew how to read or write. And it just shows how, how uh, there's such a lack of intelligence on this planet. And there's no wisdom. I mean, there's so little wisdom. You know, we, we have a very very wonderful following of regulars and thank god for that because you guys are sane even though the world might think you are the the crazy ones you're the sane ones and the reality is most of the world is insane mm -hmm. it, it's true and what's so sad is they put people in school they put children in school at such a young age and they start to teach the intelligence out of them they start to teach them only what what they want them to know and they put them in a box. And some people do very, very well when you put them in this system and teach them the ways of the 3D world. They do very well for themselves because they're able to follow those rules. But when it comes to waking up, they're not able to because they think, well, this is the thing I know. My, my life, I have done well for myself. So why ask any questions at this point? And, and the unfortunate thing that usually happens is something really, really bad happens in someone's life. They'll go along with all of the 3D teachings, the medical system, the religious system, and something really horrific will happen. And they'll stop and they'll say, well, I did everything that I was told to do. And I, there was this really horrible outcome. And it's such a huge tragedy. And that is what wakes people up 
is pure tragedy. And that's, you know, kind of where we come in is people have been let down by the system. One doctor after the next, after the next, uh, they're told one thing, their educational system has let them down. The medical system has let them down. They, they, they're not getting anywhere. Instead of getting better, they're getting worse. Or maybe even other family members have gotten sick just by doing what the system told them to do. And then they turn to us. We usually get those who are not able to be helped by the medical system. And it's because we've broken out of that box. We understand that there's alternatives. We understand that there's other answers out there. We've been through it personally. And I think that's where you want to look. You want to look for for those who have tried it personally and it's worked for them. Really important. And that's how we help each other because that's the natural instinct we want to help people. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a mess. It's a real mess out there, (laughs) but we do have each other and, and, you know, all the times that we get to be on the phone with people, they usually say, I have no one to talk to. I, I can't talk to anyone like this. If anyone ever knew the way I really thought I would just be ousted in my family. So they get to process that emotion through us, which is helpful because then you have a release of emotion, which allows you to be because when you start stifling the emotions and you wake up and you're not able to process information, it can lead to disease. It happened to me. I was so sick. They wanted to put me in ICU all because I could not allow my throat chakra to, to do its job. And that's to speak what I see. So you know, the universe has a real funny way of healing us. And now I've come full circle and I have this this microphone here and I have to speak what I see. But guess what? I'm getting better. I'm getting stronger. Um, I'm, I'm finally moving ahead in life. My body is healing all from helping this throat chakra do what it was supposed to do to begin with. How many doctors are going to tell you that? None. Uh, but there are some that well, I mean, I should say maybe there's there could be more now because things are changing. Absolutely. This I thought was curious. Saudi Arabia has started arresting anyone who comments against Israel on social media. Think about uh, what Sharia law means. You know, think about Saudi Arabia. I mean, they chop in hands, they chop heads. Boom. Gosh, I mean, to me, yeah, Islam, unfortunately, and somebody said, there's there's good in Islam. And, uh, well, you'll find good people in every system. You will. You'll, you'll find <coughs> saints anywhere you go that they're there be in spite of the system, not because of it's, it's them. It's their, their particular light. And so they may ignore uh, some darker aspects to it. But Islam, again, literally means submit, submit, submit to the will of Allah. Allah is ultimately, from what I've been able to dig up, uh, again, another way to say Elohim, uh, really. Uh, it's as far as the linguistics goes, which, you know, again, it's coming out of the same root. Anything that says there is one way is, is not of source because we wouldn't have all these different people with so many different gifts and here you have oops patriot front member was arrested in idaho he happened to have a megaphone on him that said fbi property of the fbi yeah yeah it's it's all an illusion you know it's all an illusion and yes there are some people that think that they are riding around on a white horse with a white hat but they're actually riding around on a black horse with a black hat or a pale horse bringing death here you have uh, police unmasking somebody that was doing some of the protests at ucla you know it it, it it's sad when everything gets twisted and distorted and where are we right now i mean right now you have all these different protests going on coast to coast all around the entire country and and really the entire world is kind of wrapping up into uh, massive massive protests right now we do need change we absolutely need change but recognize you had protests of this sort 
um, in other big revolutions that ended up leading to you know Mao and Stalin killing tens of millions of people more than what Hitler did <laughs> and you know again anytime you get into these situations it opens doors for something worse to come we need to look at things in a different light we need to find a different way uh, they want this to turn violent. And so, you know, the way to really work out of this system is not with another violent revolution. No, uh, the exact opposite. What would frustrate the control system more if everybody just sat down and broke bread and started to really talk about things and look, you know, critically at things? So, a cheddar protein you might find on the list of uh, if you're eating processed foods, be very cautious because, you know, you might say no bugs for me, but you might be actually eating bugs. They're already putting it into a lot of different things. Why are they sneaking these things in? Well, again, this is going to give a lot of people an inflammatory re response, and that's going to cause a lot more immune system dysfunction. Ultimately, you're going to end up with people getting um, more and more cancers, turbo cancers. Um, you know, the whole concept it's kind of mind-blowing when you think about it with cancer for instance you know I've seen people put out there oh we don't really know uh, you know what causes cancer oh we don't really know what cancer is y yeah well, you know the and 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 the cures are very very simple they're, they're, they're nothing they're gonna make money on for the most part you know you just simply have to detox you have to be very, very careful what's going into your system. Air purifiers in the house with all the clouds coming down, a uh, heap of filters, great idea. The guides, you know, we had a couple and the guides wanted us to get more, so we got more. Um, water filtration, you know, and obviously don't take in processed foods that are loaded with crap um, because, you know, those are going to push you over the edge. Without a doubt, there's certain big ones that are the biggest culprits. And again, ouch! What was that? Was that a mosquito? Was that was that one of Gil Bates' mosquitoes? Because he could get you that way, even if they don't get you in the DRs. I know, I know. There's it, it's they kind of get you coming and going, and it really can get frustrating, and you can feel overwhelmed. But if you're even doing just one simple thing, and what I do, I drink, I kind of sip on lemon water all day. I I just I love it now. It's you know you you kind of get a taste for things. You you do. It might take a little bit of time, but the old taste bud uh, taste bud cravings will fade away. You just have to start somewhere and you know jump in wherever you're at you know if you fall and slide backwards we'll just jump right back in with another glass of lemon water and keep on going don't let yourself be buried because you you know you fell off the wagon um just get right back on it's super easy just start back with your lemon water or whatever your modality is just make sure it's simple just start with something that's simple so they say this is the face of a 75,000-year-old Neanderthal woman. Now, again, Neanderthals were a little bit stronger than us physically. They actually had a little larger brain than us. How did we uh, survive and they didn't? The reality is, you know, they do live on in us a little bit, but they were too good for the system. They were too in tune with Mother Nature. They had... A more developed let's say six cents mm -hmm. right you know I mean the con the reason they didn't survive is because the controllers didn't want them to <laughs> so they would rather have a, a more filtered type of species that's easier con to control and that would be us unless you wake up and you get activated then you could be a problem for the system but luckily for them there's not too many just yet no, absolutely. So we went a little long on this one, but I guess I felt like ranting today a little bit. I hope you guys, uh, I hope I didn't put you off by ranting so much. Uh, and I look forward to your comments and go right ahead and rant yourself. Yes, it's therapeutic. It is. As always, guys, we're very appreciative of you being part of this family. And we know we have the best family on YT and on the planet. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.